Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Vicious and welcome to a brand new Cool Tools product demonstration and tutorial. So today's tool is going to be a Final Fantasy Brave XVS turn counter and buff debuff management solution. So what it is in a nutshell is this game is getting more and more difficult with some of the harder bosses and the fact that you need to track what turn you're on because they have uh, super moves that they like to use on specific turns. And if you don't know what turn it is, you might get crushed. Also, your moves that you're casting, your buffs and debuffs, they all last so many turns and then expire. And it can be quite a handful to track what you last cast and how many times it's been a turn since you've used it and when it's going to run out. So how do you fix that? You're going to roll it into either a notepad document or an Excel spreadsheet or you're writing it down and we all have our own little way of dealing with it. But it can be complicated and it's not very pretty. So what I have created is a way to make it easy and pretty all in one. So I've got a spreadsheet I've created you guys. Now unlike most of my stuff which is written in Autoit and their self-compiled programs, this is an Excel spreadsheet so you will need to have Excel installed on your computer to use it. Unfortunately because of how advanced it is with the VB code and, and data validation it will not work as a Google online document. So you do have to download it and use it locally. It's really easy. Two pieces here. The calculator, this is where you do all the clicking and watch things happen. And then the skill list is the second sheet. And this is simply a table that you can sort and either add or delete things that you want to have in the calculator. So I took the time to hand type this out. About probably 90, 95% of the characters and their moves are on that table already. And the only ones that are in here are the ones that have turns that last so many turns and then they expire because that's the only thing that we're concerned about is tracking how many turns it's going to be before that move wears out and you have to cast it again. Now, to use it, it's really, really easy. I'll show you an example real quick, and then we'll jump into the game and actually use it. You have your six unit slots, and I gave you four ability slots for each unit. I figured that's enough things to track. Don't want to make it too big where you can't fit it on your screen. Uh, you choose the unit. You can either use the drop down box and find the unit you want, and then you drop down to the abilities and they'll automatically have the abilities for that unit populate. Or you can type it in if you're wanting to type it in, especially if it's down at the bottom of the list. And you can drop down now for the abilities for that character. Now as you see, when I pick the abilities, automatically the recast value pops up for me. And what the recast value is, is the number of turns before that move runs out. And we can do that all the way down the line. Now what happens, let's go ahead and put uh, Ling in here real quick as well. What happens is when we're using the tool, I want a really quick and easy way to recast my spells and not have to type anything. So there's no typing involved here. Just click. So when you're casting by clicking in the game, you come to the spreadsheet and you cast it on the spreadsheet, just like you would the game. And now you can see I have my characters, the skills, the number of turns left until that move expires. And that's all we're really working with. This is the, the data area right here. As we go to the next turn in the game, when we're finished, we hit next turn. It will automatically make the turn go up to the next number so we can keep track of the number of turns that we're in right now. So that if a boss has an ultimate move on turn five, we know turn five is next and it automatically took away one turn on the moves before they expire. So as you can see, all those went down by one. Guard Smite, which is only one turn, would already have expired, and I'd have two turns left for those other three skills. So here's where it gets cool. I made it really visually easy to work with because green, yellow, and red. Stop, caution, and go. Pretty much that's how it works. So if I want to put this original command in here, if it's green, you're good to go. You have at least another turn before this expires. If it turns yellow, you're in the caution area. That means next turn this is expiring, so be aware of it. And if it turns red, that means that move has expired and you need to recast it this turn if you still need it. So that's how it works. When you're done with the spreadsheet, you can just close it. And of course, to make it easier on you, so you don't have to go manually clear all this out. You just click on the reset button. So let's go to the brand new target dummy. 
and show you how this works on a test run. All right, my characters are Tillith, Wilhelm, Darkina, Ling, and Fry. And if you mistype, that's what's going to happen. So there we go. The moves I'm planning on using, I'll go ahead and use Impregnable. General's Battle Cry, General's Command, and Guard Smite. Tilith, Celestial Light, and the Rainbow Veil. And Ling, I'm going to put the Faint Step and Daunting Step. So let's do this. So with Tilith, I cast a buff. The Celestial Light buff lasts three turns. With Wilhelm, I'm going to do his Provoke move, Impregnable. And with Ling, I'm going to do uh, the Daunting Step. So let's go to the spreadsheet. I'm going to cast Impregnable, Celestial Light, and Daunting Step. I'm going to attack with these two characters to finish my turn. Now that my next turn has come up, the first thing I want to do is proceed to the next turn. We're on turn two now. You can see that everything we've cast is still up. Let's just attack this round. And we're on turn three now. So Celestial Light just wore off. You can see all those buff icons have disappeared. Daunting Step is gone. There's no more debuff. And we still have Impregnable up. And it has one turn left. So Wilhelm still should have his tanking buff, which we can see he does right there. Increased chance to be targeted. If we attack one more time, go to turn four, the tank buff will be wearing off. And there you go. You can see that it vanished. So it makes it very easy to track things. You can say, I need to go ahead and cast this before it expires because I know on turn five, I'm going to need to be guarding and I can't recast it. So it gives you really good visual information on how to prepare for each turn in advance. And if you forgot, say, what step you lastly used with Ling, you would know by looking at it, and you know what buffs are going to expire, it just makes it much easier to manage. So I hope that the time and effort that went into the tool will be put to good use for everybody out there, that you enjoy it and make good use of it. As far as comments, concerns, improvements, anything like that, feel free to post in the Reddit thread or in the YouTube video comments. So that was all for today. This was Vicious, and I'll see you guys next time.